All right. So we got to get into the Broadway years. All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, again, the word networking comes into play, even though that wasn't a buzzword. Um, but when I was doing commercials, jingle work, one of the musicians in the did many and many of, of the sessions was a violinist, a string, string contractor. He was in charge of hiring all the string players. And uh, he happened to also be the musical contractor at a theater in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And he liked how I played. The bass player that they had at the theater didn't play electric bass. Oh, and shows uh, were getting more contemporary coming into the Chicago area mm -hmm. that had a written bass part for electric bass guitar. Exactly. And he started using me, and then he had me play as a staff bass player for all the shows that came in. And we're talking about the old, old, old shows. Um, got the pleasure of working with uh, Angela Lansbury and Sweeney Todd wow. and uh, Robert Goulet and Camelot and Yul Brenner you know, in King and I, and wow. I mean, so I was part of the Chicago Orchestra backing up all these stars, these top things. One of the shows that came through was a uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber show, mm -hmm. uh, Joseph, I think it was Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor. Okay. And the music director there liked me and my playing, and he said, would I consider going on the road with, for Andrew Lloyd Webber? Um, and they asked if I'd fly out to San Diego. They were testing out different rhythm sections. Um, okay. And luck of the draw, um, the rhythm section that I was grouped in for an audition were killer players. <laughs> um, the, the drummer was a, a, or, a Broadway musician, a drummer in the pits, doing all the shows there. Guitarist mm -hmm. was from Denver. Um, but great great players wow. well you know also mark at the rhythm section is more than one person and we just had such an energy behind it that we were chosen to do the andrew lloyd weber concert tour this was a one-year tour okay um, a and one -year the, tour and the band was not in an orchestra pit we were on stage featured 37 piece orchestra the rest of the orchestra uh, music contractor just hired, you know, competent people. But Andrew Lloyd Webber's office wanted to handpick the rhythm section. And so we were, and, and it, it was almost like a, a, a star status. The rest of the orchestra, <laughs> they were wearing tuxedos. The rhythm section, we just had to wear like, you know, black shirts and just be comfortable. Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So we were, yeah. Anyway, after one year of that, um, they liked, I guess, me on my playing. And they said, um, uh, we have an opening on Cats. Would you be available to... Now, you'd have to fly... Cats? You'd have to fly right out. We end, we end our show on a Sunday. You would open on Tuesday. Is this in New York or somewhere no, else? No, this is on the road, strictly. Wow. So, okay. on Broadway, if you have a successful show, well, nowadays like Hamilton or something like that, mm -hmm. you've got the show that sits in New York, and then you've got the one that goes out on the road. Okay. It's the same company, the same management, the same office, everything. It, it, they want the show to be identical. If you see the show in Cleveland, Ohio, okay. they want that experience to be identical to being in Broadway and watching it. And, and that's the Cats company that you toured with? Yes. Okay. So, toured with Cats for nine years. Nine years and, of Cats! And we're talking about, <laughs> on, broad, on Broadway shows, uh, there are eight shows per week, of course. Wow, yeah. This is a, eight shows per week. This is a nonstop thing. I mean, yes. you, you can you can request... Week after week. Or... Right, 52 weeks a year. Uh -huh. um, you could request a vacation and take a couple of weeks, and they will fly one of the guys from Broadway that does it in the orchestra bit on Broadway to substitute for you while you take a couple of weeks off. And it was, I mean... Being on tour with a Broadway show is a corporate gig. Um, to be sure. <laughs> no, I mean, not only <laughs> probably the most money that a musician can make uh -huh. because you're getting a per diem check and a payroll check. And you know if you're at home, nice. you just get a check for each mm -hmm. service you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're not getting a per diem check that's covering 
your meals and hotel and travel expenses mm -hmm. and all that. So a smart person on the road will use their per diem and never touch their salary uh -huh. and put it right into banks, investments, and whatever you're going to do. So from CATS, um, nine years of that, uh, that was coming to an end. The tour was ending. The musical contractor from New York uh, said there was an opening on Phantom of the Opera. Would I be able to fly out and join that company? And so I did a year of that. Uh, when that wow. tour, yeah, when that tour ended, um, I was hearing that they were having auditions in Branson for shows out there because we were all like, mm -hmm. when when anything comes to an end, it's like as a musician, it's like, well, I, well, what do you do next? Well, <laughs> well you're out of circulation because whatever your hometown is, uh -huh. you haven't been home for ten years. And oh my gosh! If right. you go back home, people have taken your place, and any of the circle of musicians uh -huh. that you've worked with. They don't wait for you to come home. I mean, life, no, goes, life goes on. Yeah. Um, so you start thinking, okay, well, uh, does anybody know where there's a, how about a cruise ship gig? How about, you know, you start thinking about different kind of work. Yes. And so I flew out to Branson and auditioned. Um, at that time, it was Shoji Tabuchi. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, many people will not know that name, but in Branson, he was the largest show. 16-piece band, 12 dancers, 6 singers, full laser show lights uh, in Branson. And I flew out there and auditioned and got hired. And I did that for two years. Mm. Um, then while I was out there, I got a call from the contractor in New York again. Said, um, would you want to go on the road again? I got, <laughs> we got an opening on Les Miserables for... Uh, now, the, the magic question you always ask is, well, how long is the tour? You know, is right. it, Well, they'll always right. tell you, well, we have an itinerary of six months, maybe, or maybe a year. So they'll say, well, you know. Well, what was it in this case? Well, they always, all they're obligated to is maybe a year. Okay. But while you're on the road, they keep adding on more dates <laughs> uh, until ticket sales are bad, and then they start saying, well, we're going to have to close the show. Yeah. But as long as the show is filling the theaters, they're booking. And yeah. so what originally might be told you this is a one-year tour, for me it ended up eight years. With oh Le my word! Yeah, with Les Miserables. It went from one year to eight years just yeah. because of the popularity, the demand. Now, you can quit, you can leave the show. That's but incredible. Musician, the turnover, and this is kind of interesting, on stage, the performers, mm -hmm. on their day off, which was typically Monday, they would be flying to New York to audition mm. for other shows because as an actor, dancer, singer, you want to always uh, add to your resume, oh, I've done this show and this and this and this. You want something very, very full. Wow. As a musician, you already have the best gig in the world. <laughs> you're, so you're not flying you're to not New York leaving. on Mondays. <laughs> you're not about to, to leave. To see if I can audition. So right? unless oh. you either have some family issue, or really a better yeah. opportunity or something, um, you don't leave. We didn't have, in, in the eight years, even with Les Mis, I can only recall like maybe three guys uh, leaving and getting replaced. Wow. Um, is three your family. Years. You traveled the same guys. Um, now we had 18 in the orchestra on Les Mis. We had 13 on Cats. Um, you know, so uh -huh. these are people that are traveling together as one unit. Um, so adding up these years, Michael, so you are traveling from hotel to hotel uh, for approximately 18 years? Over 20. Over 20 years right. of traveling from place to place. Right. Right. And during these 20 years, you n never got married? Oh, no. I've, unfortunately, I've gone through marriages. So. Oh, <laughs> okay, you know what, maybe we'll just <laughs> skip that part of the story. But, but an interesting but thing that's is... That's amazing, 20 years of road travel. I wow. will, this is... What a career. It, it, it was, it was a, a, quite a good time. First of all, on tour doesn't mean one-nighters. And people think sometimes, oh, I'm on the road, you're sitting on a bus, and every day you're in a different town. That is not the case on a Broadway show. On a Broadway mm -hmm. show, it takes them one full day, sometimes two, just to set up the theater. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You had between 12 and 18 semi-trucks moving the show around. Mm -hmm. You're not doing one-nighters. Um, typically, when you play the larger cities, you could be there for as much as three months. So Los Angeles, mm -hmm. Washington, D.C., Chicago, mm -hmm. um, you'd be there two or three months. Um, uh -huh. So it, it was absolutely not the, the rigors of... I'm um, sitting on a bus and every night. Mm -hmm. um, I happen to drive the tour. Um, they, that's not the company's preference. They would like everybody to be moving together uh, instead of splintering off by yourself because it's your responsibility to be at the theater in the orchestra pit when the show opens. You can't be calling and saying, I have car trouble mm -hmm. or the, 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 the roads are closed, it's snowing, I can't get there. You cannot pull that, no matter what. So, yeah. while the company is flying, the majority of them, I was driving an SUV with all of my fun hobby stuff. Cameras, <laughs> a stereo, like a, a portable stereo to listen in hotel rooms, yeah. Um, yeah. CDs to listen to, um, you know. Yeah. I, I liked my independence. And by having a car, that meant every day in a city, you could do whatever you want. I could go sightseeing, I could go to the beach, to the museums, take a day trip somewhere, you know, be, be right. back in time to be in the orchestra pit. Um, That's cool. All right, let's so, get into the guitars. Okay, do it. Yeah, let's get into